The following technical support video will show you how to remove the multi-rip hybrid printing software program from your computer. You'll remove it when you want to upgrade the software or if you just want to completely remove your validation. First thing you need to do is make sure that every application is shut down on your computer. Click on the start button and go to control panel. When you go into the control panel, it might look a little bit different depending on what operating system you're running. But you want to look for either the add remove programs, or programs and features, or programs icon. When you go into that, now you want to scroll through the list and find the multi-rip icon. Click on it, and then uninstall. When you go through the uninstall process, you might require to get permission in Vista. Once it gives the permission, it will open up the Install Shield wizard and begin the process. The Install wizard will open up and we need to click on the Remove button and then go to Next. It's now going to ask us if we want to completely remove everything. Click on the OK button and it will begin the process. Depending on the number of printers, print queues that you have installed, this, this time will take a different amount for each one. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and pause this to save some time. We're going to pick back up with the process as it finishes uninstalling the last bit of the multi-rip software. When it gets done, it'll give us a finished message and we'll go ahead and click finish. Now what I need to do is go back into the control panel and we're going to look for either the printers folder or the printers and faxes folder. In this case I'm running Vista so it's the printers folder. Now what I want to do is I need to go through and delete any of the multi-rip or power rip fold uh, print queues that are located in this folder. One way to do it is to hold down the control button and just select each one of them. You need to make sure that you do not delete your Epson print driver as this is something you're still going to want to keep if you want to just upgrade the multi-rip software. The number of print queues that you'll delete will vary depending on which print software you have installed. In this case, because my computer has all versions of multi-rip installed, there's a lot more print queues that need to be deleted. The other thing you need to know is all of your print queues need to have zero jobs in them in order for them to delete. If they don't have zero jobs in them, then you will not be able to delete those print queues. So once I have them all selected, I'm just going to go ahead and hit delete. It's going to ask me if I want to verify I want to delete them all, and yes, I do. And now we'll begin the process of deleting the different print queues. Again, this time frame for this to occur can vary depending on the number of print queues that you have. Now that the print queues have been deleted, now I'm going to leave that window open, and I need to go to my control panel. So I'll click on the Start button and go to my computer. We're going to go to the C drive now, or the local hard disk drive. Double click on that. We want to find any of the folders that say they are for multi-rip or power rip itself, including the power rip signatures, the multi-rip, and multi-rip underscore CD. If there's also a power rip layouts or power rip hot folders, you'd want to have those deleted as well. Highlight them all, click delete. It's going to ask us if we want to verify we want to delete it, and we'll go ahead and click yes. I want to verify through all of this that this is all correct, it's all set up. If you need to, you can right click into the body of the area and go sort by and name to put it in alphabetical order. And this will also help you double check to make sure you have them all deleted as well. Now that the software is off there, the one last thing we need to do is delete any of the print drivers. And that's why I left the printers or printers and faxes folder open. If you're in XP, you'll click on File and go straight to Server Properties. 
if you're running Microsoft Vista, you need to run it as administrator and go over to server properties. When the window opens up, you will want to go ahead and click on the tab for drivers. And you'll notice that we still have our multi-rip drivers still installed. Again, you do not want to delete the Epson drivers. So we'll go ahead and highlight our different multi-rib drivers. And once we have them all highlighted, we're going to click on the Remove button. You also want to delete your PowerRip PDF and PowerRip TIFF drivers as well. When you click on the Remove button, it's going to ask you if you want to remove the driver only or the driver and driver package. We want to remove the driver and driver package. Go ahead and click OK. It's going to ask you to delete that. Go ahead and click Yes. And click the Delete to confirm that it's deleting them. And then go ahead and click OK. Now you'll double check the list again. You'll notice that there are no multi-rip or power rip drivers in there. We'll go ahead and hit Close. And now we can close the Printers and Faxes window and restart our computer. It is important that you restart your computer. If you don't restart your computer and you try just to reinstall, there is a potential that your install process might not be done correctly. If you have any more questions, please visit www.multiripusers.com. Thank you.